It's a battle. It's a battle between the most popular Bronco headlights on the market. Who do you think is going to win? Buckle up, Buttercup! Buttercup. That's right. It is a battle between four of the most popular headlights offered for the Ford Bronco. We have the signature lighting that comes stock on the Bronco if you get the signature lighting package. I do not have the base lighting headlight, so we're just going to go ahead and compare with the signature lighting. Then we have the Oracle Oculus headlights, the Morimoto RGB headlights, and then finally, the Alpha Rex headlights. We're going to get all four of these installed so you can see the looks of them during the daylight. And then we're gonna wait till tonight and show the output on all four of these. So you guys can make the decision on which headlight is best for you. The main thing with the signature headlights that I really like just by looking at it is of course you get the bucking Bronco. That's only available on the stock Bronco signature headlights. But if you notice the driving lights right here have sort of like a line and then there's two little lines that go around the halo part here. Now, the ones that are most similar to this are going to be the Morimoto ones. However, this driving light and the halo lighting is very different looking in the daylight and you don't get that little bucking Bronco. Those two are gonna be very similar in looks. So if you are looking to go for that more signature lighting look, but you don't wanna pay the price tag of the signature looks, the Morimoto one is probably for you. The best part about Morimoto is it does change color. So you can change these to be different colors if you don't want the white signature lighting look. When we look at the Alpha Rex headlights, they offer two different kinds. They have the Alpha Black or just the Black. This is the Alpha Black. I love these. At first I was like, eh, do I like them? But these are gonna be different from all of these up here because there's actually four projectors right here. And this whole bar and halo look is kind of like a smoked out sort of look. The only difference between the alpha black and the black is there's more chrome on the inside of the headlight. I don't have a set here with me, but if you go online, you can easily see the difference between the alpha black and just the regular black. Now, if you want to go completely out of the box, something completely different than Oracle's for you. This whole Oculus headlight is something like I've never seen. I saw this in person for the first time at SEMA and I was like, hmm, that's a little different. Here you're getting away from the Bronco signature lighting look completely. You're not going to have this one piece bar with the halo. It's actually two pieces. So I'm going to be interested to see what all of these look like on Buttercup. I think the Morimoto signature, obviously I used to have signature on Buttercup, isn't going to be totally different. The Alpha Rex does change the look and I love it so far, but the Oculus on Buttercup is going to be totally different and I think going to completely change the look of her. So let's go ahead and get these installed and start comparing. Although the signature lighting is probably one of the most expensive headlights you can get, you can get that stock on your Bronco. So I'm going to categorize that as maybe a cheaper option because it's bought with the vehicle. So I think these two are gonna be pretty comparable in price. I think the Alpha Rex is a little bit more expensive than the Morimoto, but the Alpha Rex you are able to change from the white to the amber and Morimoto you can change to all different sort of colors. Morimoto has two projectors and Alpha Rex has four. I'm going to show you what these look like during the day and then I'll show you what they look like at night and you can compare the output on both. All right, are you ready? They're on. Tonight I'm going to compare all four of these, drive it around so you can really see the comparison of all four. That's done. Let's go ahead and put the Oculus on and the signature lighting. I hope you guys appreciate this video because my hands are starting to hurt with all this installing and uninstalling that I'm doing. But here we are, we got the signature lighting and we have the Oracle Oculus. Whoa, crazy. Although changing these headlights out isn't very difficult, this one does require a little bit of assembly. This headlight actually has three pieces. So this is a piece, this headlight right here is a piece, and then this marker is a piece. Now this is probably the most like, whoa. It reminds me of the old classic Broncos. And I never really realized that until Asher came out and he's like, you gotta keep these. 
I don't know, it reminds me of a bug. It's not necessarily bad, but it's different. If you are going for something different, this thing is different. But we got both of these installed. I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see it in the daylight, but the sun is starting to go down, so we'll be able to take this out on the road, drive, get a little bit of comparison between all these headlights. Crazy. I know the Oculus is getting most of the attention because this is just a signature light right here. You guys are probably well aware of what the signature lighting looks like. It is a nice upgrade from the base halogen lights that come on the stock Broncos and I think the big Benz. But this Oracle has the cheapest price point out of all four of them. And out of all four, this one is also the most different in my opinion for like a complete wow factor. Uh, mainly because of this marker right here, the driving light, the side marker, I don't know what you call this, um, and the halos kind of in the vehicle. So this one is completely different with just one projector bulb in the middle, really gives it that buggy eye look. But we just have a couple more hours before the sun goes down. Once the sun goes down, what's that Kenny Chesney song? When the sun goes down. We just gotta wait for the sun to go down. That was my whole point of me singing. When the sun goes down, we're gonna check these out, drive around a little bit to show you the output and then switch them again. I'm telling you, my poor hands doing all this installing, jeez. Here is the Oracle in the signature lighting. I think the picture speaks enough for itself. The Oculus is clearly much brighter than the signature light. So let's come around. Even looking at the light itself, the Oracle light is much brighter, and I do believe it's because the way the light bulb is right in the middle, projection type light. We got to compare those two. Now we're gonna put on the Alpha Rex and Morimoto to see the difference between those. We are back in the Bronco and I noticed this. Look how much brighter the right side is on the camera. The light itself is much brighter. I wanna show you guys the difference because you can see where the line of the left light, which is the Morimoto ends, like right here. And then this is where the line ends for the Alpha Rex. The Alpha Rex is far brighter and it's a completely different color when you actually look at the headlights head on as well. You can see how dark I am over here, but then when I walk over here, I'm nice and bright. That's because I'm in front of the Alpha Rex headlight on this side where Morimoto is on this side. Now the difference isn't just projecting out here, but when you look at these headlights head on, you can see a major difference as well. Now it might be kind of hard to notice the difference in the lighting colors right here, because this one right here is the Morimoto. As you can see, there's the one projector light on top. And then over here, you have four with the Alpha Rex, which of course goes without any explanation of why it's so much lighter. It just has more lighting and output altogether. But if you notice on the right hand side, which is the Morimoto, it's more of a bluish tint where the Alpha Rex is more of a white frosted color and the Morimoto is also pixelated. And you can kind of see the different colors within it. You can kind of see a little bit of a bluish and a purple and reddish tint in there. And that is another thing to note that you can change the halo and the driving light color of the Morimoto's two different colors where the Alpha Rex you can only do amber. The other difference between the Morimoto and Alpha Rex from signature lighting and the Oracle lights is these come with the opening sequence, which are really cool. All right, I'm just getting back. There's headlights everywhere. I think my garage like puked headlights. All right, don't make fun of me, but my camera guy just said, 
the bill of my hat was like cutting my face in half with light. So this is what you're gonna get. Now with the headlights, you're gonna get what you pay for. Alpha Rex headlights are definitely the more expensive option out of all of these. Now, if you would go online and buy signature lighting outright, yes, those are probably more expensive, but in all honesty, the signature lights were the worst in my opinion. I do wanna go over pros and cons for each light. Number one, signature lighting, it's easy. You can order it, you're done. You get the cool halo, the cool driving light effect. However, it's not as bright. But when I first bought my Bronco, I thought it was great. I didn't realize that it wasn't so bright until I started comparing to other headlights. So if that's what you start off with and you're fine with it, stick to it. Next brings me to the Oracle Oculus headlight. First off, it looks totally different. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it or it's gonna grow on you. So it, the look of it is just completely different. It gives it kind of like a bug eye look, but actually after Asher told me that it reminds him of a classic Bronco headlight, I would agree. It does look like a classic Bronco headlight. Now you can do the white lighting or the amber lighting with that. You also get the orange turn signal up here versus this whole line that all the other headlights have. So it's just really what look do you like better? That light was still brighter than the signature lighting. You can position it. Um, it was maybe a little off because my car is lifted, but I never adjusted any of these headlights. All of these headlights were out of the box and put on. I would say the two biggest home runs are the Morimoto and the Alpha Rex. Definitely Alpha Rex is the winner in my opinion for output, looks, style, I just really like the way it looks. However, Morimoto, they do have a big projector light which puts out a lot of output. I would say the biggest downfall about the Morimoto is the look of the halo and the driving light itself. It's kind of pixelated. It reminds me of like a retro video game. But if you're wanting something that can do multiple colors, if you, you don't want red or I don't know, whatever your Bronco is and you wanted a matching halo effect, then Morimoto is really the only one you can go with out of these. With the Alpha Rex, you can change to Amber, just like you can with the Oracles, but Morimoto, you're able to do many different colors. I'm not gonna get into that. That's a different video, a different time, but it is an option. So for me, my opinion is Alpha Rex is far superior than all of them. You may have a differing opinion, which is totally fine. For me, I'm gonna stick with Alpha Rex, but I am pleasantly surprised with the Oracle. I thought that one was gonna be eh, eh, no go, but the thing's pretty bright and it looks cool at night. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. There is a taillight battle coming up next week after this video. We're gonna be comparing the 21 off-road taillights with Quake. Oracle and Signature. So you're not going to want to miss that. So be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, buckle up, Buttercup.